welcome back to another review and this video by the way is also sponsored by moft so thank you moft for sponsoring this video if you haven't checked out my previous two moft reviews you can go check them out right now the link in the description or i probably put a pop-up in one of the corners uh or one you can see right here is the moft you can get it through the link in the description below moft float and moft laptop stand so yeah and if you put the code not with 15 in at the checkout you can get a 15 percent discount so go get it anyway today we're going to be talking about two new cases that moff just sent me to review and check out so yes so today we'll be checking out two products that moff sent me which are stands for the ipad and the iphone they have one the phone is called the moff o snap stand and grip whereas the ipad one is called the snap tablet stand pretty cool okay we'll check this out later this aside we'll check out the phone one first ever since the iphone 12 got released uh, magsafe became a huge thing for iphones so it's a pretty small uh phone stand it's around like 24 inches according to moff's website and what's special about this is the fact that it has magnets attached on the back so why is that the case well ever since the iphone 12 got released magsafe became a huge thing in the apple ecosystem so if you have an iphone 12 this would just attach to the case easily like so look at that pretty cool but i'm really wondering if this isn't an iphone 12 this is actually an iphone 10 how does it attach well 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 i'm glad you asked so moth also provides an extra option for non magsafe phones for example the iphone 10 or any Android phones that you have, so for the non Maxi phones, uh, Moff has provided a snap phone sticker, as you can see, attached to the back, which is very nice. I like the material on it, very comfortable, very flat, you can barely see it, and it gives uh, your phone uh, a Maxi S look. Look at that, pretty cool. So, among the features that come with this phone stand slash grip, well, well, first thing is the grip. So you open it like that and you stick your fingers through it. And voila. It works. So this, I, I assume this will work much more seamless or better with like a bigger phone like the 12 Pro Max or the uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra some phones like that because phones like this i mean it's nice to have a little grip so you got more thumb angle i mean my thumb my hands are big my fingers are long so i can reach the corners but if you have a small hand this will come in very handy you can reach all the corners of your phone it's a nice grip it's magnetic and it's pretty strong i'm gonna say so myself so that's one of the oh my god okay i just realized the amount of fingerprints on the back of my phone one thing about the iPhone 10, it's I like the feel, but it comes with a price with the glossy back. Um, so that was one of the features, the grip, and the other two is the stand. So you flip it up like this. So when it's unfolded, you can also use it as a grip. I think it works better. It feels better in hand because my fingers are pretty big, so it's, it struggles to fit. I mean, it fits, but. I don't know, I feel like this is way more comfortable to hold for some reason. What do you think? So in this little mechanism, you can prop it up as so. And it works just well. Look at that. Very nice. Got a very nice viewing angle as well. Oh, and Face ID works from this angle. Ah, so you can be like doing your work and you put your phone on the side like this and Face ID works perfectly. So, you know, one thing about Face ID is like it doesn't have a lot of proper angles. So when you put face down, it's not gonna register your face, but pull it up like this, look at that, easy peasy. <laughs> you can see your messages, your texts, play music, even watch like a 
tertiary screen if you want to. You can have an iPad in one, this in one, and then your laptop in the middle. <laughs> Whatever you want. All right, the other one is the landscape mode. You can take it off, turn it around, and voila! There you go, look at that. So you can put it on its side and watch whatever you want. Very well, it, it, it works very well. I love it. I love how it works. It's a little bit addictive to do. Okay, so another the viewing angle that you can get is to, so it turns like this and you put it on the ground and Hmm. Very, very nice. In Moth's website, uh, they advertise it with the iPhone 12 mainly because it has a flat border. So one thing that I'm worried about is the fact that this thing has a round border. So I'm glad that it sort of works for the round edges as well. Look at that. So if you want, you can put it like this, which is another way you can put your phone. It's got a much more higher incline. And I'm assuming this is mainly for like, if you're recording a TikTok or an Instagram story or whatnot, this would be a perfect little phone stand. According to Moth website, uh, it comes in four different colors. One you see right here is jet black. Uh, there's also Wanderlust blue, sunset orange, and hello yellow. Not gonna lie, I really like the Wanderlust blue one. Maybe next time I'll get that. <laughs> now, I bet some of you will be asking, will this work uh, with a phone case? Well, it will if you attach the sticker onto the phone case. So if you attach the sticker on top of your phone case, it's gonna work normally, perfectly. But if you put it underneath, so you put a sticker and then you put a cover on top, it's not gonna work according to Moth's website. That depends actually. If your case is super thin, then maybe it'll work. I don't really have any cases. So I have this silicon case. So yeah, this is why it doesn't work. I mean, yes, it's attached to the phone normally but yeah so the magnets aren't as strong aren't as strong as it was before so yeah do not do this okay you're gonna come with a broken phone so cases not gonna work so phone cases not gonna work unless you attach the sticker onto the back surface of the case and only then will attach and voila works very fine I also tried it on my fridge like just sticking the phone on top of uh, magnetic surfaces and it sticks pretty well although I wouldn't recommend you doing it but it does the job <laughs> and that is the Moft O snap stand and grip very very nice now I'm gonna put this aside and review the Moft snap table stand now I'm gonna put this aside for now and review the Moft snap tablet stand so if you go check on Moth's website, there will be three cases. Uh, the Moth Snap Tablet Stand, the Moth Float, as you can see right here, and the Moth X Tablet Stand that I don't have right now. They sent me the Snap Tablet Stand, so I'm gonna check this guy out first. So, pretty standard, same as the uh, phone grip. So you open the Ziploc bag and you get the case. Very, very nice. So there's some information on the case. Not sure if you can see it. Yeah, it's fine. So for this one, there's a lot, there's six viewing angles. So compared to the mock float, there's only three on this, the portrait, landscape, and the float mode. But this one, there's a 60 degrees portrait mode, a 40 degrees portrait mode, a 25 degrees portrait mode, and then there's 60, 40, and 30 landscape mode. Very, very nice. Okay, most. Oh, I don't like this. I hate removing the case from the iPad, mainly because I'm afraid of bending it. Oh. I'm sorry you're afraid, but I'm glad you're asking for help. Take some deep breaths and think about all the people and the things that are there for you. You're not alone. 
If what? you feel like you're in danger, please find help or call emergency services. What? <laughs> Alright, the mouth float is removed. Damn, this case is very, very heavy. Ooh, I've not seen this. Wow. Can we just talk about the iPad Pro? It's the best design tablet ever. I mean, so light, so slim. I mean, I mainly because this thing is so thick, and then just seeing this without the case is just so nice. All right, how do I attach this? Okay, there is the case. Ah, oh, there you go. It also has an adhesive. So if you want your iPad to be MagSafe compatible, well, guess what? You can do it. I forgot to mention uh, for this the adhesive sticker that they give for this one as well. You can reuse it, but you can remove it and put it on another phone. Like you can remove it and not use it at all. Your wish, and you can use it up to 50 times according to Mom's website. Forgot to mention. Funny. Now it looks like my iPad is designed by Moff now. <laughs> that sticks easy. And uh, I guess you just stick this as so. One thing I know about this is that the fact that your iPad is now left exposed. But now you've got this very sleek modular design. So this is the 60 degree angle mode as so. Is this a 60 degree one? Yeah, this is a 60 degree one. Very high angle, all right. Reminds me of, so if you want to compare it with the Moth Float's portrait mode. Okay, so the Moth's Float is, as you can see, a little bit more higher, higher angle compared to this one. So that's interesting to note, all right. 60 degree angle, I. It's a nice viewing angle, you know, you're working. Oh, this, this is actually a pretty decent angle to work with. If you want to see stuff by portrait mode for some reason, well, you can do that. You can write notes on it. Very nice. Very nice. Love it. All right. Now let's go to the 40 degree angle. So this is the 40 degree angle much more lower now so as you, I think this is a better writing angle if I'm not mistaken very nice as you can see right over here very cool so for the so for the 25 degree angle you got to turn it around and there you go this is a much more perfect angle for writing and stuff very nice so I'm assuming for the portrait mode This is a 60 degree one. So this is the 60 degree portrait angle. Love it. Let's compare it with the moth one. Pretty much the same except the moth one you can go lower and lower. You can have, you can have pretty much any angle between uh, 60 and 30. So yeah, that's the cool thing about the moth one. But this one, much more slimmer and very nifty. So this is the 40 degree angle. So 40 degree angle, very nice, lovely. Is this gonna replace the moth float? I'm like very, very, very tempted. But the one thing about this is the fact that it leaves the borders of your iPad exposed like very, 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 very exposed. So the one thing about these moth adhesive stickers is the fact that you can attach it onto a case and then use it on the case. So I think it works the same with this. Oh, this is very, very nice. This is very, very nice. So I guess the whole moth uh, name really suits with these accessories because well if you don't know MOF actually is an acronym that stands for a mobile office for travelers or people like me <laughs> so you can have like your laptop as the main screen your phone on one side your iPad on one side displaying something else it's a very very nice workstation for you know it works very very well together I love it I love it a lot 
Thank you, Mark, for sending me these accessories for me to test out. Very good. So that is the Moft Snap phone stand and grip and also the Moft Snap tablet stand for the iPad. So this is not specifically for the iPad or the iPad Pro only. So this is compatible for tablets with screens that are 9.7 inches or larger. So you, if you want to get these products, you can uh, obtain them from the link in the description. Also, if you want to get a 15% off discount for your purchases, you can use the code not beta 15 insert it in the checkout and you'll get a discount very nice yeah that's all i gotta say about these accessories i hope i can get to do more with moff uh thank you moff for sponsoring this video uh this means a lot to me don't forget to leave a like comment down below and of course most importantly subscribe because that's the only way that's helping me do videos like this but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace